YouTube, what's up, man? Today I'm here to talk about something that's that's pretty, you know, passionate for me. It's about Madden, and we've talked about it on Twitter mostly with my man Zan, who I think is one of the, the best Madden minds in the whole world. Obviously understands football, obviously understands Madden very much so. So obviously I'll always have a conversation with him and will never disregard anything he says. Now, most of the topic is about dollar and dime and, and different defenses with a lot of DBs being able to stop the run. And one thing that I, I've always ran a lot of DBs ever since I've been the most successful in Madden. Madden 16, I ran quarters three deep against everything. It didn't matter if it was goal line. didn't matter if it was ace. didn't matter if it was five wide. No, I didn't care. I could have called my defensive play before the snap. And I was very good at stopping the run, mostly because what happens is in quarters three deep when you show blitz, the three linemen had a bare front, which means they cover up the guards and the center, and the DBs in the slot will cover up the tackles. So essentially, all five linemen are accounted for by defenders. Although they're not the biggest defenders, they are defenders, and they still need to be accounted for because they still can make the tackle, and they still can make a play on the run. Obviously, they're not going to shed like a D lineman, but they still need to be blocked. So that's why quarters three deep was so effective at stopping the run because they covered up all the linemen and allowed my linebacker or a safety, if I needed to use her a safety, which I did against certain runs, it allowed two people kind of free to go ahead and get in the backfield and get the running back, most importantly against inside zone back in Madden 16. Fast forward to Madden 17, <clears throat> they removed quarters three deep. I could no longer show blitz and pinch that line. So I could no longer stop the run out of quarters three deep. It was you could not run it anymore. Trust me, I tried to because I feel like Madden 16 was my best Madden, had my best defense in Madden 16. So along comes Madden 17 and Dollar. Dollar was extremely good because it was very good pass defense with the cross manning. It was very versatile. You could send six or seven instantly, or you could drop them all back and be crazy cross man coverage. So it was very good defense. And that's something that I've always excelled at. It was a very good defense coverage wise. You know, and to be able to so once you know you can cover people and you can cover the pass and you won't get passed on easily, the next goal is to stop the run. Now, pretty much my goal the whole year, even in Madden 16, was how can I stop different runs out of different formations? And it wasn't always necessarily I just come on dollar and every run is boxed, every run is, is covered and everything. So I think a lot of the conversation is discrediting how much time and effort and, and you know how much I know the game in order to stop certain runs you know obviously you you know base I remember base in man 17 that was the only run in a uh, bunch was base so I knew I had to play on the certain on the, the linebacker on the side of the running back get my timing right loop around the center and hit that hole before the guard can come over and scrape and block me that was something and also inside zone I knew if I pinched or if I shifted my line one way I could shoot in the backfield and you had to identify which formation had which run, which playbook had which run in that formation. It was all different. And it was something that I think is discredited how much time and effort and how good defensively I was in both Man 16 and Man 17. Dollar was so good against the run in Man 17 that actually Man 17 really wasn't a running game. I don't think the run was very good at all. Another reason why there was no juking, there was no trucking, there was no spin move. So it was pretty much get the yards that were there. Most you had was the tackle battle stiff arm. That was pretty much the biggest thing you could do with the running back. So that made the run game a little weak. Even though if you got 10 yards, you weren't getting that much more. Whereas, man, 18 and even this Madden, between the trucking and the spinning and the jukes, you know, a 10-yard run could turn into a touchdown. So after Madden 17, they implemented this pancake rule, which I have, to I have outspokenly told you I despise this rule. Because I feel like it was targeted at those of us that ran dollar and were successful against against it, that you could no longer come out against that against run formations. Now it makes sense, but I feel like it was the easy way out. It was the cheap, you know. This is we don't we can't fix the game, so let's just make it so everybody falls on the ground. Which to me, I'm the biggest Eagles fan in the world. If any of you guys know me, I have never seen Fletcher Cox thrown on his back by anybody. So all you guys that say real football. Real, and that's that's mostly the complaint that I get from you guys is real football. You know, they couldn't stop, you know, Power O with Dollar. They couldn't stop, you know, Ace with Dollar. But real football, Fletcher Cox never gets thrown on the ground. What type of personnel is behind Fletcher Cox does not determine how well he block sheds or how long how well he takes on a guard. I think that's just terrible 
for the game and everything about it. It's just, I, I thoroughly believe and agree with all you guys that DB should not block shit. And I don't think they do. I don't know what you got games you guys are playing where DBs are block shedding. I think a lot of times the game does get stupid and allows them to get unblocked rather than black shutting. I think that's where the disconnect is. I don't think the corners play to run good at all, especially these safeties now that we put in the box at linebacker. They do not play to run. They do not shed. They do not fight. However, sometimes when you're base aligned, when you're in cover two, the corners might shoot in, stop or run, and that's just, I mean, I guess it's just all alignment, or sometimes the game is bad for that. You know, and that's just how Madden is. I mean, sometimes it's going to be bad, and sometimes it's, you're going to get the right blocks. I personally feel as a man that's run coverage defense, or not necessarily coverage defense, but a defense with the majority of DBs on the field for the last four years, this is by far the worst dollar or big dime has ever been against the run. It is, I'm, have, have not had any success consistently stopping the run, and I've also never, you know, have been pounded, have lost games because I have safety as a linebacker and they can't get off blocks. Now, obviously, we can post post pictures and videos of one play that, boom, let's go ahead and, and show this play where I try to run dive against, you know, dollar and it doesn't work. You know, that could happen for anything. You know, sometimes you can pass against goal line and it doesn't work. Or you got a linebacker covering a wide receiver. Sometimes it happens. You know, there's nothing really consistent. And what's the most inconsistent thing to me personally is the pancake, the, the whole system of the pancake. I think that's terrible and I want to show you guys an example of why I think it's terrible and this was when I played Joel in the Madden challenge last year at the live event this was single elimination tournament this was the first drive of my game I'm gonna show you guys what happened and why this this whole system of me of the pancake just makes no sense to me mostly because it doesn't work there's no there's no rules to it there's no way to tell if i'm going to get pancakes if i'm going to pound pound the ground whatever it may be there's no there's nothing to help me know when i'm going to get pancakes for the most part here we go i have a second and 14 this is my first drive of the game the first drive of the game i'm able to hit Jarvis landry here get a first and goal on a 10 obviously we know first and goal on a 10 is very hard to score if you watch any of my videos it's probably the worst situation you have first and goal on a 10 but i remember specifically this draft this team i had i had great offensive linemen I had Chris Thompson, a running back, who wasn't a power back, was definitely somebody that could juke and jive and find a way to uh, get in the end zone like that. And here you go. He's in dollar. I run stretch. His DBs do not shed. He does a great job of taking the hole I was going to go and making me spin back in, trying to avoid him. Now, me personally, I know huddle. That way he keeps his person on the field because I want dollar on the field. I want to get pancakes. I don't know how. I'm going to. It looks like I should. He's base aligned. Nobody sheds. This guy comes off the edge because of the base line tackles me. Well, no huddle again. I said, you know, I didn't get pancakes two plays in a row. Let me try a different run. I'm in the Green Bay playbook, so I audible up to gun ace. We're going to try an inside zone. Once again, he's base aligned. There's nobody in the box, and the outside corner is the one that's going to make the tackle on me. And I, nobody shedded. No, nobody fought. I didn't even think it was good run defense. I don't know why I didn't get the pancakes or why, you know, hey, exactly why I didn't get the pancakes. I don't know. I showed this to Clint. I couldn't tell you how many times because this aggravated the life out of me. I wouldn't have no huddled if I didn't think I was going to get in the end zone. And that allowed me to take three on my first drive. I wound up losing that game, I think, by three. So if I were to score a touchdown there, obviously it would have changed the game immensely as opposed to having three points. Now, I like I said, I've been a man that hates the run. I've run dollar. I've run sets with a bunch of DBs. And I think, personally to me, I think the run game is... I run the ball, and I can think about the game I've had the most success running the ball, and that was the game against Hollywood when I played to get Madden Bowl, and I ran the ball a lot, especially my first drive. And mostly I ran the ball because, one, I wanted to get easy yards where I didn't have to think, I didn't have to protect, I didn't have to make a read, I didn't have to put the right routes on the field, I didn't have to play chess, I just pressed A and hope I got yards. That's pretty much what I think the run game is. It's pretty much, let me make, hopefully I can get yards, I can score points without having to think. So that's why I hate the run game so much. And if I could run it, I would. There's nothing against running it for me, but for me it's not it's not fun to play against. It's not what I enjoy about the game. I understand it's a huge part of the game, so I'll never be one that wants it out of the game or wants it toned down or where it is of where it is. 
I think the run game this year is, is good. I don't think the moves are overpowered. And like I said before, I think that Dollar is the worst it's been against the run in the last four years. I think it, it's almost, <laughs> it's very hard to stop consistently, stop the run. When I play defense now, it's pretty much just, I hope I blow up the run one time or I shoot the gap the right way and this person no longer wants to run the ball. So this is this is what I want to say about, about Dollar. I'll show you guys a little bit. Now, this is against Ace, and this is Dollar. It's not base aligned. So what, what we're going to have here is it's a bare front, so you have these three guys head up on the well, – not really head up, but close enough on the guard and the uh, center is head up. But actually, these guys are over here in the B-gap, which kind of helps because they will get double teamed. But your tight ends have to block these corners. I mean, they're not linebackers. I just don't understand what the difference between this and the 3-4 defense is other than the fact I have corners out here that should get manhandled by the tight ends, and they will. These guys will not block shit and make plays. Now, if I baseline, you know, and have these guys out here, then maybe they won't get blocked. The tight end might go up to the linebacker, as you saw what happened to me in that game versus Joel, and then this corner can come off the edge and make the play in the backfield. But now they put it so, as you see... Oh, if you see when they snap the ball, hopefully we get double teams on the uh, the ends. That's what I want. I want double teams on the ends, and we'll be able to... Actually, see, we didn't get pancake there. I don't know if it's because I'm base aligned. I don't know why, because if I'm not base aligned like this, I will get pancaked. I, I really just don't understand the whole premise around the pancake thing. You know, so now we, there we get pancaked. But before, when I base aligned and moved the corners out, and there was less people in the box, I didn't get pancaked. So I don't understand the whole, how it works. So that's why I don't, I, I hate that whole system. And personally, I have not been in dollar against two tight ends in the last two years because I don't want to have to deal with this system of, you know, knowing when I'm going to get pancaked and when I'm not going to get pancaked. So that's just, I just want to know why you guys think this is so much different. If I come out with something like this, this is so much different than 3-4. The only difference is these guys are corners. That should not block shit. You are right. They, they, Gronkowski and Dwayne Allen should maul these guys. But at the same time, I mean, I, this is still Ziggy Ansah. This is still Kennard. This is still Gerard Davis. This is still Reeves Maven. Whoever, I don't know who these guys are, but they're still line, They're still fat guys. These five guys are still front seven guys. They still need to be accounted for. So if you take the time, if you take the tight ends out the way, boom, block, they're blocking the corners. There's still five against six. And I can find a way, as a man player that knows where to move these people, to make sure I get a double team on somebody that allows me a gap to shoot to be able to stop the run. And that's pretty much what I have to do. Let's say we get no double team, we're just thrown on the ground. Why? Because I have corners at linebacker, essentially. But, I mean, pretty much I say all this to say that I I am very strongly against both the pancake maker and the whole, whole thought that dollars should not stop the run. The main thing I agree with is that corners should get pancaked. You know, if you have a safety at linebacker, I don't think they should block shit. And to me, they do not block shit. I just a person that's ran dollar or three through five with safeties for two months. They do not block shit. They don't fight. I don't know what you guys are playing or what you're watching to where corners fight and beat linemen that badly, but that's just my experience with it. And and personally, I think the pancake thing has to get out of the game. I think it's just bad if I personally find a way to contain the run and know what run you're running and contain it, then I should be able to do that. I shouldn't be punished by the game for having a different personnel. It should be my choice to go ahead and put six DBs on the field, especially if I get to a third and six or a third and eight. You know, I shouldn't get pancaked on, on passing downs. You might choose to run, and that's okay, but I shouldn't get pancaked on a passing down. So this is a big deal with the man community. I know for a lot of you guys it's frustrating like it was for me in that Joel game when you decide to pound the ball and you can't move Dollar off the field. I know it's frustrating, but, you know, I just, I just, I'm against the run being that effective, and I feel like if I find a way to stop Dollar, stop the run out of Dollar, I should, I should have good defense. I think that's a part of having good defense. I don't think Dollar just gets rolled out there and it stops the run automatically. I don't think it's ever been like that. Even in men's 17, when it was the most dominant defense in the game, in my opinion, before nickel blitz. But I never think it stops it by itself. It's all with the user and also with the, the game situations and, and how they decide to play their defense. But that's just my opinion on the run versus dollar and safety as a linebacker and whatever you may have. I know it is raining here. Hopefully you guys don't hear all that rain, but my window is open and it is raining.
pretty good right now. But that's just my opinion. Please tell me in the comment section what you guys think. Should Dollar be able to stop the run? What is your opinion on it? How do you feel the game has changed when running against Dollar in the last four years? Because most of us are all Madden players. We've all played the last four years. We all understand how the game works. And it's just something that I'm very passionate about. Because if it was up to me, I would remove running out of the game. However, I have been successful in the past in certain games running the ball against Dollar and against other things. But I don't like it. And I wish Dollar stopped every run. But it doesn't. They're forcing me to be in other defenses. And I accept that. And I'm doing that willingly. And I still get ran on. I still get pounded. If you don't shoot the gap on the inside zone nowadays, it's getting 30 yards. And, and that's how it's been this year. I don't think Dollar is a dominant run defense at all this year. So, like I said, hit the like, hit the sub button, comment below. Tell me what you think about these defensive back heavy defenses stopping the run.